Well, we've made it to Rangi Toto, the iconic landmark here in Tamaki Makaurau, Auckland. And I'm excited to find out more about what makes this volcano so unique amongst the others in the Auckland volcanic field. So let's go and meet volcanologist Annalise and find out more. Come on. So this is Annalise, and Annalise, you are a volcanologist, an expert on volcanoes, which is great because we're on one right now, of course, Rangi Toto. But at one point in history, this was erupting, creating the island itself. Tell us about the fiery past of Rangi Toto, Annalise. Yeah, so about 600 years ago, magma was coming up through the ground and it met with water. So seawater that we see all around the island. And as it did so, it caused an explosive eruption when magma and water interacted. Mm. And when it did that, it was breaking apart rocks in the lava and creating a crater in the ground and sending ash uh, one meter thick onto Motutapu Island. And part of that process, it was building a tough ring of ash on the outsides of that crater. And as the tough ring got above water level, it transitioned to a dry magmatic type of eruption. And during that, it was erupting a frothy magma, um, creating a rock called scoria. And that scoria built up a scoria cone. So at around 550 years ago, uh, Rangitoto erupted again. And so this time, it built two more scoria cones, so one in the center and one in the south. And from those scoria cones, towards the later uh, stages of the eruption, uh, lava began outpouring from those cones across the island and traveling very far, but gently. Wow, what an amazing picture you've created of the fiery past of this place. And so what are we standing on here right now? What can we see around us? Yeah, so right across all of here, we're looking at a specific type of basaltic lava. So it's called a'a. And essentially when the lava is moving down, it's moving slow enough so a crust forms over it. And as that crust is moving, it's breaking apart into these clinkery uh, boulders. And another lava that is also produced is called pahoehoe. So that one has a ropey appearance. So think of it like when you're sliding on a carpet and it bunches up into rolls. Well, it's created an amazing landscape. It just looks otherworldly. And of course, you've got these patches of the lava flow and then on the edges and all around this island is the Pahutakawa forest and other vegetation. Yeah, so in the barren parts of the lava fields, we're getting mosses and lichens growing. And they are helping the plant ecosystem very much by converting that lava into a nice soil underneath. And plants like the Pahutakawa are going for that, the hollows in between the cracks in the lava, and they're thriving. Um, so we have the world's largest Pahutakawa forest here. Wow, so that is one of the special features of this island. And there's some other quite special features about Rangitoto that sets it apart from the other volcanoes here in Tamaki Makaurau. Yeah, so Rangitoto is quite uh, unique, but also puzzling to scientists. So it is our youngest volcano in the Auckland volcanic field and is, is the only one to have erupted twice with two different types of basaltic lava. And the other thing that makes it unique is it is our biggest volcano. So the total uh, amount of lava on Rangitoto makes up 41% of the total lava erupted in Auckland. So it's nearly all of the volcanoes combined. Wow. Yeah, and when we look at the other volcanoes in Auckland, they're quite small and contained. So it makes Rangitoto this kind of oddball volcano. Mm. Very interesting thinking about the future and preparing for hazards going forward. Well, thanks, Annalise. Fascinating to learn a bit more about this place, Rangitoto. Kia ora. Yeah.